about an $80 cab ride out of New York. When I got there, it was a big storage building with about maybe about 50 storage places inside of it. I met a well-dressed country gentleman there, and he showed me into some of his storage units, and they were uh, some beautiful things in there. Nothing I really, nothing that really grabbed me, nothing that really stuck out. I've been to so many places and I was looking for something special. As I was ready to leave, he says, listen, Richie, I know that you're a musician and I have something for you. It's, it's really great. It's not a Tiffany window, but it is a fantastic piano that used to belong to a famous singing star. Uh, and I said, okay, let's take a look. So we went to the building next door and we, he, unlocked his lock and he pulled up the storage shed and inside I saw this piano and I tell you what my my jaw dropped I, I couldn't believe it it was one of the most beautiful pianos I've ever seen in my life I noticed up on the wall up on the, the left there was a whole line of dresses real fancy dresses that had like sequins and the stones and really nice ones, ones that looked like they were very expensive uh, uh, at that time. And then there was also a huge carrying case about seven foot tall and about five foot wide. We went over to the carrying case, we opened it up, it was like a, a, a wardrobe, a traveling wardrobe in a, in a hard case. We opened it up, some clothes in there, and we opened up the drawers and inside one of the drawers was a smaller box. We opened up the box and there was pins in there that had WH. Well, right then and there, I knew for sure that this was Whitney Houston's belongings. This was her piano, her dresses, everything in that storage locker had belonged to Whitney Houston. And this was before she passed away. And Whitney Houston is not with us right now and uh, I, I feel as though she left a piece of heaven here on earth, which is this piano, definitely, and I wanna do something nice with it, and this is, uh, this is, this is what I wanna do.